I respectfully acknowledge that I'm standing on the unceded traditional territory of the Comox and Qualicum First Nations. I thank them for the use of their lands, and I want to express my sorrow for the victims of the Canadian residential school system. Now, March 14th is Pi Day. Why? Well, because Pi is often expressed as 3.14, and 3.14 is... March 14th, so there you go, Pi Day. Did you know that J actually has a primitive that will give you Pi? And that primitive is this. That is Pi, and in monadically, it will return a value for Pi. That's pretty neat to start with. Now, what's really neat is today, we're gonna learn how to do all the digits, or a lot of digits of Pi. And it's some, some really seriously neat stuff that you can do with J, well, to start with. When I take pi and I put, say, 10 there, I've multiplied pi by 10. Great. So if I decide to add a zero, I multiply by 100. Well, you sort of see where this is going. If I add three more zeros, look at that. I've got six digits of pi, just like that. Now, could I get more digits of pi? Like, how many digits of pi does, does the pi monadic verb give me? Well, to start with, let's try something here. And I'm going to add a couple more and see what it gives me here. Oh, look at that. It converts automatically over to float. Well, that's a problem. But J, actually, a really cool thing, special combinations of, of uh, primitives... If I do this, and, and this part here, that's the floor. So whatever um, fraction I give, it's going to take the integer below it. If I, if I com combine the floor here with pi, I will not lose any of the details of this number. So let's just try that out. Look at that. So I, I've gained all these extra digits here. I got up to 3.9. I've gained three extra digits just because this part of it, and, and what's happening here is actually pi um, added to the, um, to the floor will keep, in the, in the calculations, will keep from any of the precision being lost in floats. So if I was doing any combination of, of calculations or whatever, and I was doing that when I was multiplying by pi, it's going to retain that as integers. It's, ke it's keeping that information for me, which is really cool. Now, we're going to go on to the next thing. I don't want to have to keep writing all these extra zeros here. So I'm going to create a, a verb that's a little nicer than that. So, and the way I'm going to create this verb is I'm going to take this, and I will do at... And I'm going to do parentheses, and I'm going to put a, a fork in here. So what a fork does, and this particular fork has a noun, and then it's got a center verb, which is going to be to the power of, and it's going to have a uh, right time, which is going to take one off whatever number I feed it. So because it's a fork, it's going to say, for instance, I do this. I'll give it, I'll, I'll give it ten. Okay, so what's happening here is 10 is going to be decremented by 1 to make it 9. It'll be 10 to the power 9. And then when that's all completed, 10 to the power 9 is going to get fed into pi. So it's pi times 10 to the power 9. And then the floor of that, and because this combination won't lose any of the detail, I've actually picked up this extra digit. What's kind of cool, we're, we're almost there. I won't tell you we're all the way there because we're almost there. There's one last trick here. So if I go now to 19, you think, oh, that's great. Look at all the digits I got, all the digits of pi. Wonderful. If I go to 20, hmm, we're back to float. So what's going on here? Well, before I even get to using pi and floor, I'm doing this calculation here, and this is giving me a float. 10 to the power of 20 is returned as a float. So before I can even retain anything, I'm losing that, that control. How do I get around that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I could use a, a verb that's called um, 
precision or extended, I think it's called, which is X colon. And that's a bit messy, but what's a lot easier is I can specify any noun I want, any noun that's a, a number, as being extended form. And as soon as this is an extended form, that means this power raised will be an extended form. And so what's sended to, sent over to pi will be an extended form. And there you go. Suddenly I've got all these extra digits. So that's pretty cool for pi day. You can say J has just got this super simple way of delivering pi for you. It's a single monadic verb, zero dot, that's pi. And whatever you put in, you're going to get pi back. And with this little extra bit we're doing in here, we can do digits of pi. So let's see, just for fun, let's try 120. So there you go. There's 120 digits of pi right there. So all the neat things that you can do with J on this pi day. Now, as an extra little benefit, um, in the notes below, I will have a link to the J Playground. And the J Playground is a new thing that's been developed by Joe Bogner and Hate. And what it will do is it actually will run J on the browser, which is pretty cool because you don't need to download J or anything. So if you click on the show notes, and, and this is the one extra thing that they've put in, is I can save this verb already being declared. Now what it'll do is it'll show up in a black area and you'll need to run it to put the verb in. But that's good because you'll be able to see exactly what the verb is before you, before you run it. When you run it, it will run the verb and it will actually also give you access to the verb. So you can go in, declare your own stuff. It's a full working J environment. And uh, all you need to do is click on the link and then you can play around with some of this stuff and see how big you go. I'll tell you right now though, when I went to... It was 100,000? Yeah. 100, I tried to do 100,000 digits of pi, and my computer, which is a fairly beefy computer, it's, it's an iMac Pro. Um, when I went to do uh, 100,000 digits of pi, it took a little under three minutes to do. So, and, and it'll, it'll, it'll take up a fair amount of memory, too, to do. So try out some of the numbers before you go into whole hog. And I tried a million, and basically I, I gave up and, and just shut my whole program down because uh, it was, you know, it, it was just taking so long to do it. And in the case of the browser, if you do it in the browser version in the J Playground, just refresh your browser. That, that clears it up. <laughs> It's just, you know, it's just like, yeah, that never happened. Forget about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, that's uh, my little um, gift, I suppose, for Pi Day, March 14th, 2022. Lord knows we can, we can use some gifts right now, can't we? Okay, on to better days.